I just got my teeth cleaned, so it is giving me like the biggest freaking headache right now. Hi guys, my name is Sierra. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Tomorrow I am getting my dreaded wisdom teeth taken out. It is a long time coming. I was supposed to do it in two days, but they called me and they moved it up till tomorrow. So I'm nervous. I am getting sedated which is because like they're on the nerve down here so i had to go to an oral surgeon like a normal dentist just couldn't pop them out they're impacted they're on the nerve so i had to go to an oral surgeon so i'm going to him tomorrow my husband is going to drive me because of course i'm going to be sedated and drugged up um i know sometimes they just do like numbing but I'm not going that route, one, because they're on the nerve and they're impacted, and two, because I know myself well enough that if I were just to, like, get numbed and, like, I had to hear everything going on and, like, feeling the pressure and stuff, that I would probably have a full-blown panic attack and just, like, freak myself out to the point where I'm, like, not going to be able to calm down and sit still for what needs to be done, so I am glad I am being sedated, but at the same time, I'm nervous because you never know what could go wrong with that kind of stuff. Like, if something's gonna go wrong, like, I haven't been sedated in 10 years, so, like, is it gonna go okay? Like, is there gonna be complications? Can I not handle sedation anymore? Um, and of course, the curiosity of how it's going to be afterwards, like, healing and things like that um what like the pain level there's gonna be like two gaping holes in my jaw they did say they were gonna give me medicine to make me sleep so after um, i get home i do plan on sleeping my husband's gonna brave it out and take care of the children so i will check in with you guys in the morning i know i can't eat like eight hours before like no water nothing absolutely nothing um eight hours before my appointment so i'll check in with you guys probably in the morning and then i'll try to do it after depending how drugged up i am it might have to be the day after but yeah i'll let you know how it goes all right good morning it is like 8 30 9 a.m right now um it is the morning of my surgery where i'm getting my wisdom teeth taken out so far i am pretty miserable because i haven't been able to eat or drink since 4 a.m and i can't until after my surgery and even then it's gonna be an all liquid diet but as of right now like my stomach hurts i'm probably gonna get hangry within the next few hours because my surgery is not even until one o'clock this afternoon and I am craving an iced coffee so bad. Like, that is the first thing I do in the mornings after I get, like, my kids to school and myself around and stuff. I always make iced coffee and, like, an egg and, a, like, an egg cheese bagel sandwich. Which I really want right now, but I guess it's not in the cards for me today. So, there is a little bit of a struggle there. I know by 1 p.m., um, I'm going to be a mess because I can't even have water. So, like... I have to go these next eight hours without water, like anything to drink, eat, snack on, absolutely nothing. So that sucks. So we stopped at the gas station real quick. We are on the way. I now have a severe headache. I just really want some coffee and some food. It is almost one o'clock now and I am pretty hangry and like overall lethargic at this point. So I'm just ready to get this done with. My husband is convinced at the end of the earth that he is going to record me in a crazy state. So I'm hoping I don't act a fool afterwards. Um, and then I look all crazy because I know they like sometimes they tape up your whole head just to keep the ice packs on there. So let's hope that doesn't happen either. You put on there that you can't like leave me. You have to stay here in the parking lot. And they're probably going to call you. Not a good time right now. Everything's worn off. And the pharmacy took forever to get my medicine. So I am in so much pain right now. It's crazy. I'm like spitting up blood. Okay, so it is 9 p.m. I'm finally going to take a nap. Um, actually it's 10, almost 10. I'm finally gonna get to a nap. I took, um, this like a pill for nausea they prescribed me and this um, oxycodone pill they prescribed me. I'm not really feeling any effect of that. Um, I'm still in a lot of pain, especially on this side. So this side must have been like a lot closer to the nerve than this one. 
Um, I have gotten a kick out of the videos that my husband got and that I took myself without even remembering. I don't remember anything from the time he put the IV in my arm to the time I woke up on my couch. Like all that in between there, like I was awake and I was alert and I was talking to my husband. But I have no recollection of any of that. Um, when I got home, I was bleeding a lot. I went through lots of gauze pads. Um, I finally went to the point under my uh, doctor's ed like revision to put two tea bags, um, damp, and clamp on those for 30 minutes. Um, apparently, that's a lot more effective at helping your blood clot and you stop the bleeding. So I'm finally able to take the gauze out since I'm sleeping. You don't want to sleep in your gauze. And I don't really feel active blood flow anymore. It's just, you know, obviously an open wound, so you are going to leak a little bit. Um, in my pre-op or my post-op instructions, it just says, like, put a towel or an old pillowcase down just in case you do happen to get some blood drilled out while you were sleeping. Um, so I'm going to go take a nap, and we'll see how the rest of the week goes. So far, I've only had... Um, like the broth of chicken noodle soup and that's it so i drink some water this first night they want you to just do clear liquid so that was highly disappointing because um my husband had made egg rolls for the rest of the family and that's what they were eating and it smelled and it looked so good but i could not participate all i could do was chicken broth so i could not wait to be able to eat again but at this point I mean, like, by the time my husband finally got home from the pharmacy, like, the pharmacy took over an hour and a half just because, like, I have an allergic reaction to certain medications, so they had to, like, I guess keep switching stuff until they finally found a concoction that would work for me. Um, so, unfortunately, my poor husband was there forever, and by the time that he got home, I was already in, like, so much pain. I was bawling, and it says, like, the key, I guess, to oxycodone is to get ahead of it and not have to play catch-up, so I'm playing catch up right now and in between your doses you're supposed to take ibuprofen that I've also been prescribed so I'm going to take a nap and then take some ibuprofen and hope the rest of the week goes by easy. Good morning it's like 7 a.m the next day um I think I'm finally starting to catch up on my dosing I'm not in as much pain as I was but I don't feel like on top of the world either um I'm very drowsy everything is very sore um I've gotten to the point where I am drinking water and eating yogurt. Um, I'm going to go to the store and just get like some bone broth and pudding and jello because I can't have any solids for the next few days or like even soft foods for at least three to five. So I'm just going to go make sure I have like some, some sort of substance to keep in my body so I can stay on top of my um, antibiotics and things like that so I don't get sick. Um, or get like an infection or anything, but it's feeling a lot better. I can tell it's swollen right here It's not as bad on this side, but like when I talk I can feel it in my jaw right here Even though my tooth is like back here So this one must have really gave him a run for his money and he had to put in more effort for it, but I'm just thankful to finally have it done. It's something that I need to be did um if you guys have any questions you're welcome to message below and especially if you want an update video after this because this is probably the last one i'm going to do um for this vlog but i hope you've enjoyed it hope i would answered any questions that you might have and of course you're always welcome to message me down below or on instagram bye thank you I'm not gonna touch your tongue. Why? Because there's bacteria. Oh, no, it's dry. It's sick. Why can't I feel my skin? You got numbed up? No, I didn't. I got drugged up. Do you feel fucked up? I know I can't walk. Can't use your legs? 
Okay. Do you love me? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah, you might touch my toes. Yeah, I feel that. Can't feel that. Yeah, you're a good child. You get a lip piercing. <laughs> I don't think you need no lip piercings. I can't feel it. The paper I said I can lose my taste and feeling in my house. I'm really achieving. If my people would chill with me. If I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, maybe you'll get sick of being the monster. Hello.